feels like morning, but really it's 1 p.m. So uh, I was up till 12.30 last night playing this and some other stuff and broadcasting live. I, I do want to recap off a couple of things. Firstly, hi and welcome back to the big board. My name's Kevin, if this is your first time tuning in. Uh, <coughs> and we're playing Bloody 110 from TCS, great game. Uh, I'm a little tentative with the play at the moment because this is really my uh, only my third game. And uh, this particular scenario, or the historical scenario, has all the bells and whistles turned on. And we're, uh, we're, we're struggling with uh, some uh, bits and pieces. Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm having a few challenges. But look who just walked in the room. That's Davis. And he's streaming live on the World Wide Web right now. Davis, what happened to you yesterday? I became 11. 11. And did we party like rock stars last night? Yes. We went pretty hard, didn't we? What did we do? Played Nerf and played Xbox. Xbox and pool? Pool. Got in the pool? We actually got in the pool, where are we, April, so that's kind of early. You guys are brave. I'm very impressed. Not really. No, really? It's not very cool. It wasn't very cool. But Mom wouldn't pump the big float up, the brand new one. I don't blame her for not pumping the big float up. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to turn back to the game now and bid you farewell. <laughs> See ya. Nice bug bite. That's my son Davis, so there you go. Talk about real life. And he just brought me down a bowl of, uh, looks like chicken curry. Mmm. That's really good. I think it's bad manners to uh, eat and broadcast at the same time. I've not seen anyone do that on TV. So, we're playing Bloody 110. And we did make, for all those people who were grinding their teeth and gritting uh, at my uh, assault that went on right here, where the paralyzed guy is, we attacked all of these units. Let me show you. We attacked this guy. And these two AT units. And the mistake I made was that the AT unit is a one-stepper, not a two-stepper. And I thought they were two steps. So that's why last night it took four rounds of uh, close assault combat to secure this hilltop section of town. And uh, anyway, it was just ugly. <clears throat> we kind of ground our way through that. The second mistake I made earlier on in the evening was over here. These fellas uh, in essence <laughs> took a four step loss from artillery and really they shouldn't have actually been able to be seen because they were over here. So I'm thinking we're going to uh, reinstate these chappies. Give the ammo back to the Yanks and we'll call it even since I was not planning on moving those guys in any case, and I, yeah, it just is a bit of a mess. But anyway, so let me just adjust the artillery here while I'm while I got you. So it's plus three to the arty. Excuse me, the arty ammunition. All right. So. Final thing we had to do here was uh, this. We're doing a close assault here uh, with the pioneers, who really have awful morale. I thought the pioneers were better than that. <laughs> Just stood up for a sec so you can see. See if you can see this. But uh, there we go. Here, this guy's here. It's a six-six-five, which is uh, an attack strength of six, range of six, morale of five. Um, Second Panzer Division. We're attacking this little mortar unit. The net of it all is that this mortar unit cannot fire because uh, it has a range of two, a minimum range of two, and uh, so it's not really going to be able to defend itself. 
and it's morale of three. So we're just going to uh, save ourselves the pain. Elite, uh, elite, eliminate that unit. Attack, take this hex over. So that makes the scenario look a little uh, more different. Whoops. A little more different than uh, the initial amount of losses we'd originally taken. Now I'm going to pause right here for a minute. I have to, you know, playing in four minute increments <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon is not a whole, whole lot of fun. All right, let's. Oops. Now, interestingly, it's a big old stack of trucks there. I wish I had more movement points. Or action phases, we could do something. Let's see. I've now cleared some room here, so we are going to flip these guys to move. And progress. So that's half your movement points. Hey, turn the camera. You need to pay attention. Are you paying attention? Pay attention. Three. To flip from fire to move. Three. Four. Five. Six to here. And we'll flip the fire. Oh, crud. What I'm going to do when we play one of these maps that's really jam-packed, it's going to get ugly, isn't it? Whew. Golly. Get on it. There we go. Actually, you know what? It's six to here, because we've got to go up a uh, contour level. And when we do that, it costs extra movement points. So that's three to fire, uh, three to move, four, five. Uh, just to be safe, six. Mm, I'll move you over this way and flip to fire. And you will stay and move. You. Three, four, five. These guys are in the half track. I need, really need to support that unit over there, so let's do this. Flip to move. So we're going to take this half track with the unit in it and move on the main road. Step back a little bit. Just to make sure you can see, okay? Yep. One, two, three, that's one movement point. One, that's two movement points. No. Two, two, three, two, three movement points. Now, you know what? Here, I am going to subject myself to possibly an overwatch fire from these guys. Let's just do a quick <coughs> line of sight check for the exercise and also to make sure that we don't make any crucial mistakes. It's a 20... You know what's actually a 40 foot difference? I don't think... I think this hex is going to block. But if I move to here... Then I think that will be a problem. Oh no, there's buildings in here, so entries, so we're good, so we can go to here. And then to here. And I actually read the carrier rules for once. Although I probably didn't bring the rules back downstairs with me. Oh, yes, okay. It takes three movement points to change load or unload, something like that. Mounting costs three movement carrier three movement points and the mounted unit one movement point. That's the same for dismounting. So one, two, three, four, seven. So we can dismount these guys and they still have Five mover points left, they dismount their move mode. Two, three, here, flip the fire. You know what? Let's just sit here for a moment. I've got these guys over here. Let's 
that's one, two, here. I think I'll put the half tracks underneath. Get a little additional fire benefit with those guys. Now, having, in hindsight, having these units move this way is actually reasonably good, I think, because it's <coughs> pinning the support from here. I don't know what the op sheet is allegedly for these guys but we're we're assuming they're going to try and support this uh, defensive manash it's going to be difficult to try and cross this open terrain if i've got uh three little uh units here to uh put some lay some fire down so i, I think the germans are actually doing quite okay and probably not facing as much resistance as i thought they would so I think that's the end of the German action phase. When Americans phase, we want to take a fire marker off. The units over in Heinerscheid have been prepping to move and loading up on the trucks. I'm just going to move them down the N16 to Fischbach. Actually, no, I'm not. I have to check the op sheet for that first to make sure I can do that. We'll do that. We'll check that in a little bit. All right. I don't believe trucks can spot, <laughs> but we can sure move. <coughs> Crossing this hex side, they can't see, so they don't get an uh, overwatch. So we'll move over to here. And all of a sudden, this is looking real tenuous for the Americans. Wow. I wonder if that was poor unit placement. Hmm. What to do? I believe I said that we have reinforcements coming in at 10 a.m. Well, we actually don't. It's actually 11 a.m. I think I just piled all these guys up here, up here in the turn sec section, and then they gradually migrated to the 10 a.m. It's actually 11 a.m. where two platoons come in, then the third platoon comes in at 1400. So I've got a while to hold on, which really changes the flavor of the death level of desperation for the Americans. Ah, I'm just tugging on the camera, sorry. There we go. The Americans actually move first. Now they're gonna pass, and we're gonna wait and see what the Germans uh, come up with. And I'm really not sure what the Germans are gonna come up with. What do you think the Germans are gonna come up with? It's your move, it's up to you. Yeah, you should be scared. All right. For those of you who haven't seen, that's my, my West African friend. He's a fertility mask. <clears throat> okay, so we have German movement, all right?